Hey, the Wootsuit family, it's Ryan. Jim, thanks so much for covering for me last week while I was on vacation, and I apologize for the late video, but today I wanna to talk to you about developing my green thumb. Like many folks, working from home has left me with some idle time, and well, I don't do idle time very well. I tend to fill that extra time with projects, and this time is no exception. I have been doing baking and experimenting with stuff and doing some home improvement, but one thing that I wanted to, to try out this summer is, can I do something with the garden? The people who owned the house before us actually did a lot of gardening by the looks of it. There's a lot of different kinds of plants growing around the house, but one thing that they didn't seem to grow, or at least not that I've seen, is plants that bear you know, fruits and vegetables and anything that you can eat. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going towards a doomsday scenario, but the whole pandemic thing has made me think a little bit about supply chains and access to goods and I was thinking you know it would be interesting to find out what it is like to try to grow your own food or at least have an appreciation for the kind of time and attention that it takes and so I thought this summer it might be a good opportunity to try it out. My parents and grandparents have experiences with gardening but I myself not so much. I didn't really participate a lot in it, so I'm approaching this from a fairly fresh perspective. However, I don't want that to stop me, and so thanks to books and YouTube and talking to people and even folks at work, I've been able to cobble together a little bit of information to help me start a gardening project. If the experiment goes well, maybe I'll put in something a little bit more permanent next year, but for this year, I bought some pots and some soil, and I just wanted to try it out. And if it doesn't work out, I'm not really out a lot of money and I didn't really have to put a lot of effort into it. We were gifted some plants and so I planted some stuff in the front after a heavy dose of weeding. My mother-in-law also gave us some lilac bushes and so I had to dig a space in the back after a lot of weeding and put those in. And so far they seem to be thriving. For the vegetable garden proper, my neighbor had some spare seedlings that he wasn't going to use. And so he gifted those to me and I potted them with some soil and I'm really excited by just how much they've been thriving in such a short amount of time. I also found some chives in the garden so I transplanted those and wanting to start a little bit of an herb garden I chose basil. I have had basil plants in the past but I've never grown them from seeds and so I'm really excited that they've, they've taken so readily and that they're growing and I'm looking forward to being able to harvest those, those leaves for the first time. I'm only about a month into the experiment but Gardening has already been an interesting experience because it's an exercise in patience and given that I've never done this myself before, I'm not sure whether or not I'm doing things that are going to pay off in the future. You know, I put the seeds into the ground, so to speak, but I'm not sure if, if I've done everything that I could. It's been teaching me lessons in terms of diligence and paying attention, but also the rewarding aspect of watching the plants start to poke up through the ground and then starting to really expand and seek out the sun. It's, it's been a very fascinating experience. And even at the end of the growing season, if this experiment doesn't really go anywhere or has a really small yield, I only get one tomato and maybe a handful of basil leaves out of this, I still feel like it's going to be a worthwhile experience learning and growing not only the plants, but myself and my experiences in this. And at least I'll gain a greater appreciation of just what it takes in order to have those really wonderful gardens. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and checking out my garden. I hope you're keeping safe and don't forget, stay awesome.